when I started my class, Florian appeared, sir, I didn't message you, right? So you have seen this kind of fraud. Recently, the Facebook is bombarded with the ident uh, identity fraud. You know, there's a gang who is just taking your pictures, profile pictures, seeing your abouts and create a new ID against your name and start spreading the message. Oh, I am Mr. Jamal, I'm, I, you know, I'm your friend. Uh, I need some money. This is my account. I need, you know, urgent money. You are my friend. Just transfer the money here. So this kind of, this is the ide identity fraud. And it is very increased with the expansion of internet. Okay, so, but two types of more common fraud that impact financial statements. So we are here learning fraud based on that would that affect the financial statements. There are credit card fra frauds, there are identity theft frauds. We're not dealing with that one. So we are restricted to our subject. So the most common, you know, fraud types that affect the financial statements. What are the financial statements? Income statement, statement of retail earning, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Four statements. Number one, misappropriation of assets. What does it mean? Mostly committed by employees. Theft of money or inventory. Right? You steal, some employees steal computers, ACs, water bottles, right? This kind of stuff. Uh, the money from the safe, also bribery, kickback schemes, overstatement of expense reimbursement. You were given, you are entitled to, uh, you know, go to the, uh, in, in the field and live in a hotel, but you go in that city, you have a friend, you stayed at your friend's apartment, but you make a forged slip or staying in continental restaurant and you make a fake receipts and claim reimbursement this is also a type of fraud it mostly people do that okay you brought your own like some salads your own food but you claim that okay you ate you know in 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 five star restaurant and you submit that slip to your office and your office reimburses you this is also a fraud and we call this misappropriation of assets now fraudulent financial reporting which is mostly committed by managers. Like I just mentioned you earlier, customer paid you 4,500, but you recorded 450. And it is hard to find out. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Um, because I, I never received the official documents and I, I would like to know, because for me, I can't, Accounts is like an, an Excel word sheet and people just type number. So it's like everybody can lie. I just punch number in the, in the cell. What is the real uh, document of an account? What should I really receive? How can I know it's true or false? Wait, let me show you. So, in Florian, you hear? Okay, in real life, the account, one account is, you know, the accounting is also digitalized. We have different software as well. So in real life, we also, we are maintaining two accounting, uh, you know, uh, the, the accrual accounting, we are maintaining on two sides, both on actual sides, like in books, for example, this is our cash book. So here it would be written cash book. And if you open that, there would be here the debit side. So this would be like this. There is a lot of columns here. One is debit side, one is credit side. So all the page numbers are here. So when managers make entry here on computer, Excel file, they also write it down here as well in this book as well, right? So this is like a T account. 
one side is debit side one side is credit side right and this is like a week so at the bottom there would be a total here right same like an excel but excel is a software computer uh, computer software sorry and in real time right you have a pages and you have a numbers and all the stuff we would write it down through hands and once you write it down here you cannot cross right if you want to cross something you have to make a balance entry or adjusting entry i would say appropriate for because we already learned the adjusting entry so we make an adjusting entry here as well and also in excel file as well so that both accounts tally with each other right florian i hope i already answered so so when people say i will show you my books they mean this book that's yeah. so in in <clears throat> accounting department there are big books registers right so like you go to cip office there are like written files cabinet over there right yeah so so they pick up that file all group they have all the system all the things in, in computer system as well but they at the end they take a print they verify that one and place it on their file cabinet right okay. now now i understand and so also in companies, so in companies we do we have this much big of files one file completely okay this is account receivable file okay this cabinet is or this book is uh, so or register is for cash this book is for suppliers right we do have files excel files different files as well but we do manage uh, you know maintain the physical book shelves as well yes florian and and so if you i would say open your book so you will have all of those file and you must uh, include receipt right so but the receipt we don't have it like sometimes some receipt come months after how do you do we take a picture right now this is a fast system we pick a picture we have a customers deposit you know picture like if i have, i expend something for example i purchase chumu so the office asked me to send us the details so one for me is that i send it through post here it took like 15 days to reach on to tonfa uh, you know office but i take a picture of my alipay account you know i paid this one and send it to the office they take a print and they match the case and send it to finance department after 15 days when the receipt came to you know on their desk on the other side to fasten you know this process the accounting department already approve my case and send me the file and when uh, you know send me the money when i receive the money in the meanwhile the all the physical evidence already there so they batch up maintain a file and on excel sheet they also write it down clear and they batch up all the hard material and place it in bookshelf right florian understand Okay. Any more question? Okay. So, the number two fraudulent financial reporting is deceives investors and creditors. How would they do that? We call this window dressing. window but can you write it down here window dressing like we do window shopping we go to the store but we well, our intention is not to buy so we call this window shopping similarly they publish these financial statements to impress the uh, you know investor those who want to purchase the shares of this company or those who want to supply material on credit or money uh, you know in banks who want to provide loans to you so <clears throat> they cook the books also call this cooking books cooking the books 
right? So they cooks the books, and it means they window dressing. All the statements looks very good on papers. Okay, this company is making huge profit, right? And in real sense, maybe company is not making any profit. But since nobody has the time to visit the factory and do the financial analysis, so they believe on your financial statements and give you loan or purchase your shares, right? And at the end, they discover that okay, it was all fraud, so their money is gone. We call this fraud, but categorize as fraudulent financial reporting. Remember, if some company found this kind of stuff, it has very catastrophic, you know, results and consequences as well. Huge fines, maybe a billions of dollars going to be charged to that company if, if it's big. Sometimes it would be, you know, insolvent. Maybe the government will say that, you know, ban that company forever or sell that company whatsoever, right? So let's just talk about. So we have three kinds of motive behind the fraud. So remember, fraud is ultimately unethical act, right? You agree? It has three motive. Uh, three, uh, you're sorry. It have three, uh, you can say impact. Number one, motive, opportunity and realization. So do we have motive here? Okay. Motive can be anything, right? Mm, maybe you want to pay business rent, uh, you want to pay your apartment rent and you don't have the money. So you steal the money or you do the fraud, this kind of stuff. You have some kind of motive. Opportunity is that you find some loopholes in company system, right? Everything is smooth and you found something. Okay. If I do create a fake company and sell the good to him, that company, and then offer him a great discount. And after that, I receive my commission and then ask that company to cancel the order. And that company canceled the order. So my sales is done. My commission is I received because I, my target was to increase the sale. I increase the sales. Now it is the marketing department or production department problem that they didn't deliver the goods on time. You know that they cannot deliver the goods on time. So they reject that order, but you receive the commission. So you discover that loophole, we call this opportunity. What is realization? If I didn't do that, somebody else can do that. If you found out that your manager, you know, he is going out after, the, you know, after the job, but he forget, uh, you know, forgets to lock the safe and that's it.